All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So today we are finally looking at Neo Galaxy I Cipher Dragon. So I know I wasn't crazy. I was like, I was like, Cipher Blade came out, and I was like, okay, he's gonna summon Cipher Blade in the anime. And he's like, no, this is Neo Galaxy Eyes. And it's like, well, I saw that you were gonna do a Neo Galaxy Eyes, but I mean, like Blade didn't show up in the anime, and then Neo Galaxy Eyes did, and now here's Neo Galaxy Eyes, the actual card. Uh, I kind of predicted what his effect would be, so hopefully it will be similar to its anime effect and similar to what I thought it was going to be. And uh, we'll go ahead and see if it's worth it. And I'm assuming that you're probably going to have to rank up a, a Cypher Dragon into this. So, uh, like usually, as you're just like with Neo Galaxy has Photon Dragon, except instead of uh, Photon, it's Cypher. All right. So it is a Light Dragon XC effect monster, rank 9. 4,500 attacks with defense. I think those are just the exact same stats as just Neo Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon. So, not much has changed there, but I mean, it's literally the same character playing the cards. I mean, I guess technically not, since it's two different kites from two different shows and different personalities, sort of, and different uh, things that they deal with, but it's kite. It's kite's kite. So, uh, it's made with three level 9 monsters, but I don't think you will be doing that. You will be ranking up your. Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon with one of your rank up cards into Neo Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon. So let's go ahead and look in this effect. If this card has Cypher, has a Cypher card or Kinetic Soldier, because of course Kinetic Soldier uh, in Japan, it, I think his name is Cypher Soldier, so he counts. So if he has, if he does have Kinetic Soldier as a key material, I don't know why he had a Kinetic Soldier as a key material, him being a freaking rank 9 and Kinetic Soldier being a level 4, unless you like oddly use some card to attack him in key material. I'm not even sure if there's a card like that. But uh, if A, if you have Kinetic Surgery Team Material accounts, uh, then this card gains this effect. So uh, you want to have your Cypher Dragon, you know, your Galaxy has Cypher Dragon as an XC Material or whatever, because you don't have to go use Cypher Monsters to go into uh, Cypher Dragon. You know, he's a generic, but then when you rank up, you want to keep that as your XC Material to your, you know, your last D tag to make sure that you get this effect. So the effect reads. Once per turn, you can attach up to three XC materials from this card, which you should have three. You should have the two monsters, well, unless you already use Cypher effect, but you should have the two XC materials under Cypher and then Cypher itself with three XC materials. Uh, attach up to three XC materials from this card. Monsters you control cannot attack your opponent directly for the rest of the turn, except this card. Also, take control of face up monsters your opponent controls equal to the number of XC materials detached until the end phase while this card is. Other effect is applied, they have their effects negated, also their, their attacks become 4500, also their names become Neo Galaxy I Cypher Dragon. So, pretty much I can take up to three of your monsters, just kind of move them out of the way, sort of like a pseudo little change of heart, and I can poke you directly with this. Only this card can poke directly for 4500, but it's interesting that it doesn't say that the other monsters you control, it just says they can't attack directly. So I can easily go ahead and I don't I don't have to take all your monsters. I don't have to take I can take up to three up to three. So I can take a couple of your monsters. They'll be mine. They'll go up to forty five hundred. I'll attack with them. They won't attack directly. I'll attack your other monsters that I didn't take with the monsters that I did take, which will be a forty five hundred Neo Galaxy I Cipher Dragon, and then this can hit you directly for the forty five. So this can easily go for a game, which is pretty powerful. It really is. It's just. Unlike Cypher Dragon, which, you know, takes it and makes it, like, a copy of itself, like, is it possible that you can still do the Photon plays if you take an XC monster with this? I don't, I'm not sure about that. Uh, the, the, you know, the Galaxy Eyes Full Armor. Uh, Full Armor says that this card can be used XC control on a Galaxy XC monster you control. But it does not have to be 8, so that, so that doesn't even matter. So, you can still do the, the... Cypher shenanigans with this. So I can go ahead and summon this, take, you know, what, some of your XC monsters, and then just slap this on top of it. Because it just says this card can also be summoned on a Galaxy Eyes monster. And your monster, when I take it, if it's a XC monster, it is a Galaxy Eyes monster, slap on uh, full armor. So that's pretty good. So instead of just the, the single just Cypher take one, slap a uh, Galaxy Full Armor on top. I can do it to two. So if you have like a Castell in the one one, give me both of those and then slap on two Full Armors. That's pretty powerful. It really is. Now I can detach and pop two of your uh, face up cards. And then on top of that, uh, that Full Armor, I can of course slap on uh, Cypher Blade. So I believe Cypher Blade has to be eight. 
yeah, this card excludes someone using a rank A Galaxy Eyes monster. Of course, when I take you, uh, it doesn't even it doesn't even specify like the rank anymore. I believe I believe uh, I believe Cipher did Cipher save the rank? I guess I could I guess I could look that up right now. I believe Cipher when he took he specified that it becomes rank eight. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. So you're not gonna you're gonna go to full armor to Cipher Blade. Uh, can you only rank up into Cipher Blade once per turn? You can only target one Cipher Blade once per turn. It doesn't look like it does. No, it doesn't look like it does. So I could pop a whole bunch of your shit. So if you have two XC monsters, I could literally go summon this, rank up into you know uh, Neo Galaxy, I detach. Take two of your XE monsters, slap on full armor, use full armor effect, both of them, detach, pop, pop, then slap on two uh, Cypher Blades, which, of course, he also has a detach pop effect, detach XE material and target one card on the field. Uh, Cypher, uh, full armor has to be faced up, Cypher Blade doesn't, just target a card, pop, pop. So, I can take two of your monsters permanently, your two of your XE monsters, and pop up to four of your cards. Like, that, that's pretty strong, that's pretty strong. So, uh, and then, you know, go for game. Like I said, the other monsters I control cannot attack directly, but they can still attack. So if you have other monsters that can attack with, you know, full armor, he's a 4,000 beater, or Cypher Blade, or the monster that I just took and, be, and turned into Neo Galaxy, he's 4,500, and then this will hit you directly? Yeah, I could easily go for a game with the uh, power for this card. So maybe it's actually worth it to actually run some rank up card in a possible deck that does a lot of rank eights, or uh, it's actually a uh, Cypher deck, you know? So overall, not bad. Overall, not bad. So uh, there you go. I reviewed Neil Galaxy Eyes Cipher Dragon. He's a pretty decent card. He's actually one of the uh, few cards that's actually worth the rank up because you can easily wrap up the duel and with the shenanigans that you can do with full armor and blade. It's just it's just fun on the bun. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. Of course, I'll be back next week with some more cards to look at. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys later. All right, people. Thanks for watching.